Hello, we are discussing about gate 1991 EC paper and the topic we are discussing is electronic devices. This is ninth one mark question came in 1991. Look at the diagram. The diagram consisting of two N channel MOSFETs. In the figure, the N channel MOSFETs are identical and their current voltage characteristics are given by the following expressions. For VDS less than VGS minus VT, ID is equal to VGS minus 1 into VDS minus VDS square by 2 milliampers. For VDS greater than or equal to VGS minus VT, ID is given as VGS minus 1 whole square milliampers. Find the current IDC as shown. So this is the current we need to calculate IDC. The correct answer for this one is 1 milliampere. If you look at this equations, if you clearly observe these equations, VDS less than VGS minus VT for any N channel MOSFET, VDS minus VGS, VDS less than VGS minus VT, this is a condition for active region or linear region or triode region. Whereas VDS greater than or equal to VGS minus VT which is nothing but condition for saturation or constant current region. So what was given is nothing but which drain current equation should be used whenever the transistor is in linear or active or triode region, whenever the transistor is in saturation or constant current region. So simply we need to find out whether the transistor is in which region accordingly you must use the some current equation to get the value. Okay. Now we will see how to solve this one. Given both the transistors are identical and assume that one the numbered as like this. M1 is a left hand side transistor, M2 is a right hand side transistor as indicated. So IDC is the drain current flowing in M1 transistor, I2 is the drain current flowing in M2 transistor. Remember that one, here IDC is the drain current of M1, it is not the sum of drain and gate currents because always gate current is zero for MOSFETs. There is no gate current flows in MOSFETs because gate and channel are going to be insulated by SiO2 layer which doesn't allow any charge carrier to move from gate to channel side. So always gate current is zero, remember that one. So simply the entire IDC will always flow through this drain of M1. So IDC is the drain current flowing through M1, I2 is the drain current flowing through M2 transistor. If you apply KCL across this point, we can write it as IDC plus I2 is equal to 2 milliampers. Otherwise IDC is equal to 2 minus I2 milliampers. If you calculate I2 at that time you can calculate the IDC using this equation. So now our aim is to calculate I2. I2 is the current flowing through M2 transistor. Okay. Now we will see. <coughs> First, look at the given diagram. And for that one, M1 whose gate and drain are going to be shorted together that is VG is equal to VD gate voltage is nothing but drain voltage for M1 remember for any MOSFET if gate and drain are shorted then it will be definitely in saturation region and always the condition for saturation which is nothing but VD greater than VG minus VT is always true whenever gate and drain are going to be shorted so M1 definitely it will be in saturation Whenever it is in saturation, the drain to source voltage is always positive. Since you are applying 5 volts and the source is connected at positive uh, ground, so definitely this voltage is greater than 0 volts. So drain of M1 is going to be at positive voltage. Drain of M1 is nothing but drain of M2. So that VD2 is also positive. VD1 and VD2 both are going to be positive voltages. Next, come for second transistor, M2. Condition for M2, saturation region is gate volt, mm, drain voltage of M2 transistor should be greater than gate voltage minus threshold voltage. 
from the equation current equation we can say that one threshold voltage vt is equal to 1 volt this is general current equation strain current equation for mosfet this is vgs minus vt always so vt is equal to 1 volt we can say it from the given equation so condition for m2 saturation region is vd2 should be greater than or equal to vg2 minus vt so vd2 should be greater than vg2 minus Vt is nothing but 1 volt and Vg2 Vg2 is nothing but gate of M2 transistor gate of M2 transistor is at 0 volts so 0 minus 1 which is nothing but minus 1 volt so drain voltage of M2 transistor should be greater than minus 1 volt if M2 has to be in saturation region by that time drain voltage of M2 should be greater than minus 1 volt but according to M1 transistor, VD1 is positive, VD1 is nothing but VD2, that is also positive. So, positive values are always greater than minus 1 volt. So, the above condition is always true and the transistor M2 is always in saturation. Since M2 is in saturation, we can use the given current equation for saturation region. So, the given current equation for saturation region of M2 is I2 is equal to VGS2 minus 1 whole square. VGS2 whole square, VGS2 can be written as VG2 minus VS2 minus 1. So, VG2 is 0 volts, VS2 is nothing but minus 2. So, minus of minus 2, it will become plus. So, it will become 2 minus 1, that is 1 whole square. So, I2 will become 1 milliampere. According to KCL, IDC is nothing but 2 milliampere minus I2, 2 milliampere minus 1 milliampere, which is nothing but 1 milliampere. So, the required current IDC is nothing but 1 milliampere. So, the correct option for the given question, correct answer for the given question is 1 milliampere. Thank you.